What is going on? My name is Ario D. Juiced from Juicy Tech Podcast. This um, channel I've had for a good two years, I believe now, something like that. If not two years, one year, something like that. So I typically post content about my journey into the tech field. And I love to discuss this because a lot of people are looking for information of how to join the tech field in whatever, you know, in, in whatever type of, I guess, um, job title, if that makes any sense. So from software engineering, you know, cybersecurity, maybe IT, I like to put this information out there to pretty much, to pretty much um, help the next person that, that's, now I won't say that's lost, but that's looking for more information and pretty much just trying to figure out what route to take and not get lost basically. So, <gasps> excuse me. I pray this channel uh, may very well assist in making that, you know, uh, it's just it'll help your um, help your journey get easier by me sharing this information with you, if that makes any sense. And I really hope that is the value you get from this type of content from this channel. So what I want to talk about today is the merge between both Boca Code and 4Geek Academy. So a lot of people are going to are still looking for um, information in terms of Boca Code. So what Boca Code is um, was it was yeah it was a um, coding boot camp that I attended back in 2022 in the, in Boca Raton, Florida. Right. So um, the school is pretty much no longer because they were acquired by Four Geek Academy. Four Geek Academy is a technical school that's I think I want to say they're based in Miami if, if that's not correct they do have a location in Miami but I think they have other locations throughout the world so I'm not sure what country or how many countries in Europe but they do have locations outside the U.S. so it's a pretty big school and yeah they acquired Boca Code so Boca Code is pretty much no longer but they did um, they they are accepting Obviously, students that are looking to further their knowledge in software engineering or just trying to figure out um, what's going on. How does this work? And just learn from the best, basically. Um, I'm not sure if all the teachers from Boca Code work at 4Geek. I'm not sure. I can't say that. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I just know they they did merge together. That is official. The, the merge um, is a definite and uh, yeah, Boca Code is no longer. So if you're looking for Boca Code School alone, they are now basically 4Geek Academy. I'll leave more information in the box below uh, about 4Geek. You can go from there. Um, definitely let people know um, that you spot this video on YouTube about Boca Code or 4Geek. Um, you know, let them know that this is where you got the information from about the school. Now, I've never attended 4Geek before. I don't mind to. I will actually would love to, you know, um, join the school one day. Why not? Right. Um, I love I, I, I love learning. I love learning. It's fun. So, um, yeah, I've never attended 4Geek before, but they seem like they, it seems like a really um, awesome institution to gain more knowledge in terms of software engineering, full stack developers and all that stuff. It, um, I did get a chance to, you know, check out their website and it's it's a very legit um, company school when it comes to um, coding. So yeah, I very much do, I won't say encourage, but I would recommend people if they're looking for more information on software engineering in person school, obviously. 4Geek um, is a really cool place to start your um, your education when it comes to software engineering. So I'm just glad they did partner up with Boca Code. And um, I think Boca Code will be in good hands um, because of 4Geek's, you know, super um, massive, um, 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 you know, knowledge in this field, basically. Awesome. So again, what I want to talk about is you know, me leaving Boca Code to this day, I still receive, you know, um, job offers. I, I still receive job offers from different companies almost every single week. And it's because of my um, of, of my experience at Boca Code. I've been told this before. Oh, you went to Boca Code, you know, and um, the school has such a good not good, but an amazing reputation in the area, which is South Florida, the Miami metro area, 
the school has such a great reputation that people, once they know that you are a former student there, they want to talk to you. So this is this has helped me very much. And I've been turning down jobs, literally, because I just don't I'm just not interested. A lot of these jobs are contract roles. Um, I'm not saying I'm, I don't like contract roles, but not right now. But I, I, I do see myself in the future doing contract roles. Why not? But the point is, the point is, I'm still receiving, um, you know, job offers. And here's the catch. Well, not a catch, but here's here's one thing that some people don't know about me. Um, and I've said this before, too. I've never graduated from Boca Code. Right. I'm a former student, but I've never gotten I didn't finish the program, basically. Right. So I don't even um, I didn't graduate there. The, but the only difference is this is, is that I still hold all the information that was given to me. I still have my notes. Everything is still, you know, I'm, I'm still very not like I'm, I have knowledge in this to this very day because I went there for, you know, over eight weeks, basically. So um, I am very, I know exactly what's going on, right? Um, I'm still practicing, obviously. I'm still building projects. I need to start posting them online, boy, but I'm still practicing. So yeah, it's, it's um, even though I never, even though I don't have a piece of paper, a certificate, I still have the information. I still have the knowledge to, you know, perform when I'm, if I were to, you know, get a job as an, as an, an, an engineer, basically. But my point is I still understand what's going on and I didn't let a piece of paper stop me from still, you know, applying and talking to people and networking because I don't think a piece of paper, would, I mean, it, it does play a big part, but it's really about, to me, it's more about your actual work experience, right? I think that will always beat the piece of paper. And of course, networking, I know people, they know me. I'm not some, some big deal, but I love to pick someone's brain. I love to learn from other people. I love conversing. I, I enjoy going to different events and meeting new people. And it doesn't have to be about you know coding or software engineering or tech. I just like to meet people. We may just have a conversation briefly about the weather or maybe where this person's from, if you're, if you're from a different country, or maybe you enjoy... You know, maybe you try a new a new recipe. We'll talk about the recipe. Maybe into playing a musical instrument. It doesn't matter. I I love to talk to people. So this helped a lot of people, you know, be comfortable with me when it comes to conversing. So it's helped me a lot, and it will continue to keep helping me because I think that's a really important thing to have, which is people skills or soft skills. Hard skills is still a big deal. Obviously, you have to know what you're doing, but. People have to like you too. And again, I've said this before, I've learned all this information from Boca Code. Like they teach soft skills. They're very big on, you know, people have to enjoy your presence, basically, whether you're, you know, on site or not. People have to like you. You can have the best skills on earth. If people do not like you, it's going to be tough to get a job anywhere because people just simply do not enjoy your presence. It's a big deal. <laughs> It's a really big deal. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, all this was being taught at Boca Code to students, soft skills. And I'm so glad they, they really pushed that a lot. I'm just hoping for geeks also push that, um, th those skills to students, which is soft skills. Um, I'm not, not sure. I never went there. But I'm hoping that is the case at for geeks But, again, if you're looking for Boca Code, the school is no longer – they were acquired by Four Geeks Academy, so that's where you would need to go to gain your information or your knowledge about software engineering at Four Geek Academy. Again, I'll leave the link down below. I'm not being sponsored by Four Geeks, not being um, paid to do this video from the company, but I very much want to support anything that has to do with Boca Code, and that is now Four Geek. Since they are now with Boca Code, I will now start pushing for geek to people that are looking for more information uh, when it comes to software engineering or even beyond that. So yeah, more information down below in this video and you are welcome. So let me get up out of here. Much love to you. Thanks for watching this video. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Be safe, subscribe, hit the bell notification, comment, like, and share. We'll go from there. Peace out. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.